But most of you, millions of you, did not attend and were not able to attend. So I want you to hear some of this, because you're also hearing we must unite to defeat the Democrats. Great. Well, let the establishment unite under our flag, under our principles, for once, so we can actually win. Here's Ted Cruz today at CPAC. Cut one, go. There are a lot of D.C. consultants that say there's a choice for Republicans to make. We can either choose to keep our head down, to not rock the boat, to not stand for anything, or we can stand for principle. And they say if you stand for principle, you lose elections. The way to do it, the smart way, the Washington way, is don't stand against Obamacare. Don't stand against the debt ceiling. Don't stand against nothing. I want to tell you something. That is a false dichotomy. And we cut the you want to lose elections, stand for nothing. You want to lose elections, stand for nothing. That is exactly right. You want to lose elections, stand for nothing. And in the end, even that little documentary done on Romney, he was so afraid to take strong positions. And he was told, we're going to win. You won the first debate. Now we glide through. And he lost. And we're still told, don't criticize Obama, don't criticize Hillary. You know, nothing personal. While they accused Romney of of murdering people and so forth. I mean, these people, they don't know how to fight. They don't know how to govern either. Cut two, go. How do we win elections? In the contrast between corrupt Washington and the American people, we stand with the American people. We stand with a straightforward and bold, positive agenda to inspire the young, to inspire women, to inspire Hispanics, to inspire everybody. Number one, defend the Constitution. All of it. Defend the First Amendment, the right to free speech, the right to a free press. For all of our friends in the media, a free press means not having government monitors sitting in your newsroom. The right to freedom of religion, and that means, among other things, not having the IRS ask citizens, tell me the content of your prayers. We need to stand for the Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms. We need to stand for the Fourth and Fifth Amendment rights, the privacy of every American. What is so radical and controversial about his statements, ladies and gentlemen? I know the establishment and their pundit friends. I know the consultants and the operatives inside the Beltway who populate the East Coast. I know that they want to turn this guy into some kind of a controversial figure. What's so controversial? And on what basis, if he's not a conservative, then who is? And isn't it about time we had a nominee? I'm not endorsing anybody right now. I'm asking you a question. Isn't it about time we had a nominee who can speak in complete sentences with confidence? A man who knows how to fight these elections? Isn't it about time? Well, him or whomever. Cut three, go. We need to repeal every single word of Obamacare. When millions of Americans stood up last fall and said, stop this train wreck, this disaster that is Obamacare, that is hurting millions of people. The Democrats said, the mainstream media said, although I repeat myself. (laughs) They said, this is hopeless. Don't you understand? Just move on. Just accept it. You can't do anything to stop this. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Mocking Obama. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Now, there was Mike Lee. Mike Lee, who also a superb mind, a great politician. I want you to remember, these two guys fought the establishment in their states and they won. And they're hated for it. That's why they're really hated. And they want to advance the cause of liberty. They're trying to break out from the mindset 
in Washington. In other words, they speak for you and me. Let's get cut eight ready. Here is Mike Lee today. Go. The last time conservatives faced this challenge was 37 years ago at the fourth annual CPAC conference. It was February 1977. And that winter, Ronald Reagan and his conservatives were being attacked by the Washington Republican establishment for challenging President Ford in the 1976 primaries. They were being blamed for handing a victory to, Demi to Jimmy Carter and other Democrats. But Reagan knew that it was the party establishment that had lost that election by losing touch and losing credibility. He knew that the future of the GOP was not the old party of Republican insiders. It was a new party of conservative ideas. And so Ronald Reagan came to CPAC and he called for a new Republican Party, a party of principles and confidence and a positive agenda for change. And exactly what we need today, a new Republican Party with new leadership. It can be done. It must be done. And Mitch McConnell apparently showed up at CPAC to a lukewarm response. I don't know why he showed up at CPAC. Is he a conservative? One more clip for Mike Lee. Cut nine. Go. Conservatives then went about the hard, heroic work of applying timeless principles to timely problems, to pivot from purges to persuasion, from protest to reform. And those in the establishment never knew what hit them. You see, we can never forget that in 1976, anti-establishment conservatives found a leader for the ages. And yet they still lost. But by 1980, they had developed an agenda for their time, and they won. My fellow conservatives, it's time to do it again. Mark Lovin.